I mean, while President Bala Tinubu has called on Nigerians to, over, to come together in solidarity against the common threats that undermine the nation's collective well-being, saying that Nigeria has endured too much. The president made a call on Friday, July 5th, while performing the groundbreaking for the resettlement scheme for persons impacted by conflict at Tudumbiri community, a Kaduna village, accidentally bombed by the military drone in December last year. Represented by the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shatima, the President noted with dismay that for so long Nigerians have been held hostage by the fear of themselves and allowed the preventable incidents to escalate into transgenerational disputes. The resettlement scheme for persons impacted by conflict is a timely intervention not only to construct residences, roads, schools and essential facilities for victims of conflict but also to offer them a dignified environment to live and to drink. This resettlement scheme is more than just bricks and mortar. It is a symbol of our collective will to heal as a nation that has endured too much. It is an opportunity for each of us to come together and rebuild. It is a call to action. What an eruption of conflict. In one part of the country, it disrupts the rest. Conflict and displacement to us are not merely regional issues. They are national concerns that demand a unified response. They threaten the very public of our society. And it is only through justice, distributions of democratic dividends and collaboration that we can overcome these challenges. Today is a day of joy because we are about to set the stage for the transformation of this community. Since the unfortunate incident, we have supported the victims, their families and members of the community with relief materials. We are constructing a six kilometer asphaltic road to Tudumbiri village. This road, when completed, will open Tudumbiri village, link it to other communities, boost agriculture in the area and ease movement of persons and goods. Similarly, a skill accusation center is under construction and we are building a clinic to cater for medical needs of the people. The state government is working closely with federal security forces to degrade and uproot bandits from their enclaves and restore peace and stability to our troubled communities.